Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, I am going to tell you how you can import CSV data to MongoDB using Python. Guys, uh, suppose we have a CSV file like this and we want to import to uh, MongoDB, then how we can ha handle this, how we can handle the functionality to import that data. So uh, guys, actually, first we need to connect to MongoDB here. Actually, I have already connected to the MongoDB and then need to create a database here we will create like mp data here we have we will create a database mp data and also collection name emp and now uh, we have uh, our database and collection created here this is this is our database and the collection now we will import data to this so guys uh, now we'll code uh, actually here we already created a file a python file import underscore csv dot py so it's our python file now we will code to import this so actually for importing the data csv data we need to two modules to import data to mongodb we need two modules one is csv module to read the csv data and one other by mongo module that we need to use for connecting to the mongodb uh, to import the data so now we will uh, start writing code so here we will import csv module guys remember if you haven't installed this module you need to install actually here we have already installed this here so now you need to use pi mongo module so you need to install this actually the, uh, we need to use uh, pi mongo cl uh, client actually we need to connect to the mongo database so here we have imported two modules a csv module and pi mongo both these modules needed if you have any eight inch all this on your system then you need to install actually i have already installed here so now we will client the we will create the object of the mongo client so we will have variable mongo client and then we will create object so here we have created the object this is the object of our mongo client now we will pass the db to the mongo client so here we have a db object and then we will use mongo client object and then pass database actually we have already created here database name emp data here this is the emp underscore data so we will call here emp underscore data here so here we have passed our database then we will also pass the collection the collection is here is emp so we will pass the collection here so here we have a variable collection and then to store the collection here so we will create the our collection so here our db object and then we will pass here emp now we have a collection actually here we have a our database and then we have set the collection so now we have a collection object here now we will perform the operation to insert data to the emp uh, database to mp uh, collection so here now we will uh, move to read the csv file and insert the record to the mongodb collection so now we have a header variable in which we will pass the headings like name is and country actually these are headings from our csv file like name is country so here we have used these to insert records so now we will have a we will read the csv file here so we have a csv file variable and then we will open the csv file employed as csv and then read the file so now we have read the file and it's doing the csv file object then we have a reader variable and we have a csv dot dictated we will 
dict data we will read the csv file here we have opened the csv file and then we will here read the csv data using the csv object csv file object so here we have we have read the csv file so we have a data here in reader object now we will look through we will have a follow each in reader and then we have a array row and now we will follow on fields in header that we already here defined header and then we have a row field and assign value field now now we have data in row array all field data then we will print row actually it will print the all data that we are we have read it from the employee csv and then that's going to insert now we'll insert the data data actually we have a already collection here so we use collection here collection dot and call the method insert and pass row here to insert the rows so here we have row data each row here and then we insert each row to the collection here so this is our program python program to insert the data to the mongodb database collection so we have a very brief uh, uh, description of the code here again here we are importing the csv module then we are importing the pymongo using the mongo client so now here we have created the object of mongo client then we have passed the database emp data to mongo client we have object db then we pass collection emp to the db then we have a collection object here collection and then we have a, we are reading here uh, csv file employee csv file so here we have a header like name age country then we are we are reading the csv file employee dot csv using the open method then we reading the csv data using the csv file object and here we have a object of file data then we are loop through the that data and storing the, the each row in a row array and pass to the collection insert method actually we are using the collection and uh, calling the method insert to uh, insert the rows now we will run our program here so now we will run our program here run our program you can see here you can see these records are printed actually we have used the print method here so all these records like one two three four all four records actually here you can say all these or record one two three four five records so here we have printed the five records like here one two three four five so these records are here listed now we'll see the data in our mongodb database so here we will we will load the data here you can see here emp now all records are inserted here like five record you can see the five record here one two three four five so all five records are imported to the mongodb database emp data to collection emp so guys you have seen it's very interesting to import the data to the mongodb using python just using the csv and pymongo module i hope guys you have enjoyed this tutorial and try to implement same functionality in your application so guys don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe our channel thank you